Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Really sorry about the morning uh, upload of the pawn shop fail haul video. Um, last night we had an internet outage. I tried to post it then. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go up. Uh, contacted a few of my friends that live in the area and their internet was down as well for several hours. Um, I tried to wait for it to go back up, but ended up being really late, like one, two in the morning. So I went to sleep um, and just went ahead and posted it this morning when you saw it. So that was yesterday. Today is, of course, Wednesday half off for the Salvation Army. Um, so that's today's actual video is the haul, what I did today. So I'm just going to show you some of the items. You guys love the half off Salvation Armies. And for those of you that don't have a 50% off day at your Salvation Armies, um, every Wednesday or whatever day it is. I'm sorry. I apologize, but there are quite a few I think it's more that do have it than don't have it leave it down in the comment section below Tell me if you do have half off Salvation Army Day and what state city you're in because I'm curious what areas have it and what don't um, But those of you that don't have it. I'm sorry those of you that do have it Hopefully you got just as good of a haul as me and include with your city and state if you did go out today Some of the cool items that you got you don't have to send me the whole list But send me some of your best finds from the day um, I'll start with the coolest little pair of shoes that I got. Little kids' shoes. These cost a buck fifty after my discount, and uh, they're Nike. They've got the evil Velcro uh, word on them, so when I list them, I'm gonna have to li list them as the hoop, the hook and loop, or whatever the heck it is. Anyways, these are Nike Free Five little girls Velcro shoes. We of course won't use the word Velcro on our eBay listing. For those of you that don't know, it is Vero protected, and even though Nike licensed velcro to put on these shoes i don't use velcro under any circumstances even though i could probably get away with it on these ones not gonna risk it sorry guys so anyways a buck 50 for these shoes probably gonna try to get about 12 to 14 out of them they're really cute they're in great shape a little bit of cleaning up the bottoms are great um, and they are a size because i know a lot of you guys end up asking me about these and sometimes you want them so just in case anyone wants these these are a size 10 C US, so 10 children's 10 C US, in case anyone wants them. Uh, I would probably sell them for 12 free shipping direct if you're interested in them. Uh, let's keep moving. This is a G Unit Company shirt. Um, it's an embroidered G Unit shirt. It's in great shape. This is a men's uh, large or extra large? Large, men's large. I need to scoop back, give me a little more room. There we go, G Unit. I have sold several G Unit shirts. I think Kate got a G Unit shirt once. It sold right away. I don't ever keep the G units in stock. Uh, this one was originally priced at three dollars, so it means I paid a buck fifty. Probably something I can list for sixteen to eighteen dollars. Shouldn't have any problem selling that. Um, this is a cool find. I always get this type of stuff from the Salvation Army. Um, remember those snowboard? For those of you that saw my old video, the four X four cross. Um, uh, snowboard pants I got. I've gotten some motorcycle dirt bike um, tops and shirts. Again, these are dirt bike motorcycle racing pants. Um, they're padded. They have some cool logos on them. Uh, this brand is called um, Answer, A-N-S-W-E-R, just like it sounds. And uh, these are a size 34 pant. They were originally $4, which is incredible. Um, I don't know who priced these, but I got them for two bucks. And these motorcycle pants are about $20 to $25 all day long. They are, of course, going to go priority. They are kind of heavy. They probably weigh a little over a pound and a half, maybe. So it's going to cost $6.30 to ship them and padded, plus the fees and shipping. You know, I'm going to be out about $11. But I should be able to get about $25 bucks for them, leaving me $14, and I paid $2. So not a bad profit on those pants. They sell really quick. Anything you can get dirt bike or motocross or motorcycle tend to do pretty well. Keep an eye out for those. Ah, my favorite brand. These were $4. I got them for 2 bucks. Tommy Bahama Swim Trunks. Obviously, Tommy Bahama is a good brand. It sells consistently. I know the prices have been down on them recently, but these are swimming trunks for the summer, and these are a size small, so hopefully they'll sell even though they're a small. Somebody will need a small, and they're Tommy Bahama. Good graphics, great condition, no dry rot. Make sure you check for the dry rot on the swim trunks. If you can pull them apart and they start cracking and stuff, leave them, but those are in really good shape. I got a second pair of swim trunks, which these are awesome. Um... These are a size 2XL. They're from OP. These are kids. This is 2XL kids. Obviously, if this was 2XL men's, these would be much bigger. Um, check that out. It is a giant shark on the swim trunks. 2XL kids. These are probably the equivalent. I couldn't get these on me. So, I mean, I wear like a 34, and these are not going to come anywhere close, even at a 2XL for kids. But 
Check out these shorts, Kate. How cool are those? Not me. They're kids' swimming trunks. They're 2XL. Anyways, these are awesome. Uh, paid $250 for these. Definitely going to try to get at least $18 to $20 out of them. The shark, the great white, is very cool. I wish I could wear them. If they were my size, I would keep them. Um, let's keep going. I got two of these today. This is Lucky Brand. I paid $2 for it. There's the tag, half off four. Lucky Brand boho floral type shirts do very well. We sell these pretty quick. We actually got a bunch of these today in uh, Chris's wholesale lots. I was over there checking some of that stuff out. I might buy some of it brand new. But for today, this was a used piece, $250. And uh, most Lucky Brand shirts are $15 to $17. Sometimes you can get up to $20 for them for the right piece. It just depends. Um, here is the second piece of Lucky Brand. This as well was $2 instead of $250. Again, a floral or boho, any type of this style of Lucky Brand is an easy 15. Typically, you can get 17 or 18 out of them. Um, I'll usually start them at 20. If I get 20, great. If I get an offer of 16, 17, I'll take it. Um, but $2 cost is not bad. Let's keep rolling along. Uh, this is a Tommy Bahama plain shirt. I only paid a dollar, which is probably the only reason I bought it. It's $1.99 half off. It's just a plain blue women's shirt, size small. And um, because it's Tommy Bahama, it doesn't have any kind of graphics, but it'll still sell. I'll still get 15 bucks for it, 14, 15. We'll, but for a dollar, it's well worth it. Okay, this is Elite MMA. I've sold this. Anything MMA, UFC tends to do decent. Uh, cost on this shirt was four, so I paid two. There it is. And this has some MMA graphics on the back. It's that elite MMA graphic. They're kind of like the embroidered roar. They're just not quite as nice. Um, they're not as embroidered. This is actually a design on the shirt. Um, these kind of button downs are something you can expect to get 14 to 16 out of. Paid $2. That's $12 profit, less fees and shipping. About eight, seven to $8. But elite MMA should sell pretty quick. Still a brand. I paid a buck. Again, I'm never going to pay more than a dollar, maybe two for these. It's Ed Hardy by Christian. Is his name Christian Aldegier? I don't know. Anyway, it is Ed Hardy. There's the brand. I paid a buck. Can easily put this up for like $11 or $12. It'll sell right away. Ed Hardy still sells. I know it's not as popular as it used to be, but it's still not cheap to buy brand new, so it will sell. Rockin' Republic. I do really well with this brand at Quick Flips for $12 to $14. Uh, this one was $2.50. It's a button-down plaid shirt. This is something, if I put it up for like $14.50, $14.99, should move out pretty quick. Uh, Rockin' Republic is, is not a top-tier brand, but it is noticeable. It's a brand that people recognize, and it does sell consistently on eBay. Um, don't expect to get more than $20 for pretty much anything, unless it's like really nice jeans or really nice top. Most of the stuff's $15 to $20. Um, this was $2.50. It was $5 originally. This is Pink by Victoria's Secret Collegiate Edition, and it says Love Pink on the back. Um, got the Collegiate C logo there. Uh, looked up these. They're all over the place, $9, $12, $8, $15. Um, you know, something I'll put up for $16, $18, and try to get a best offer on. I don't really turn down a lot of Victoria's Secret that's in the $2 range. Um, tend to buy all that. Um, this is really good score of the day. Um, paid two fifty for it. Uh, you guys will all recognize this brand. Most of the time, I get this in guys, but sometimes I can find it in girls. This is Vineyard Vines. You guys know it from the whale logo. There it is. Uh, pretty expensive retail. This was started up in the Northeast, up in like the Massachusetts, New England area. Vineyard Vines became nationwide. It got really popular. I can actually recall the better part of four, five, six years ago seeing these guys on TV when they first started blowing up um, huge on TV. Uh, I believe they went on Shark Tank. Don't hold me to that. Or maybe they went on a different show. They were definitely on like some TV investment show. Anyways, Vineyard Vines, and I think they did ties. They had like a bunch of ties in this store. Um, this brand got really popular. This is a hooded, long sleeve, lightweight shirt. It's not a sweater. It's an extra small. Again, I paid $250. It's probably something I can list for $20 to $25. So good score on Vineyard Vines. Uh, it's always quick selling. You can't keep Vineyard Vines in stock ever. So um, just a couple more pieces I'm going to show you guys. Um, I believe this is a full-length dress. Uh, this is a Forever 21. This is probably, you know, something I didn't really intend to buy. I paid $1.54. It was three. 
Uh, kind of think it's got a unique look to it. So I'm going to try to get 12 or 14 out of it. We'll see. A um, couple more pieces over here for you guys. Let's see. What else do we get? Um, swimming trunks. Again, swimming trunks are huge. Um, these are just some Hawaiian. I sold a pair of these similar, but little swimming trunks. Something I can get. You know, I paid, again, those were two bucks, so I paid a dollar. Um, probably get 10 to 12 out of them. We'll see. Um, these are some Abercrombie jeans. Yes, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. These were originally eight. I paid four. Now, I did pay up for these. Um, paid four because I think they're decent wash. They are a size zero, which I do great on zero for those of you that have never seen my videos about size zero. Good shape. And uh, I'm going to try to get 18 out of them, 18 to 20 after fees and shipping, 10 bucks. I did pay four, so you know maybe six or seven, but Abercrombie tend to sell pretty quick um, for the profit that you can get out of them. And then the last couple items, just a little American Eagle top, paid a buck for this. Something I will list for about 10 to 12. And this one was already there. And then I think this is the last piece. This is just a little old Navy top. Again, something I paid a dollar for, something I can list for 10 to 12. So um, kind of steered away from my $15 and up average. Most of the stuff was $15. Grabbed a few other items, but they were a buck a piece. Like I said, I will steer away from that if I could pick up inventory for a dollar that I can get 10 or 12 on Quick Flip. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the haul video. Make sure you get out there if you have a half off Salvation Army day and take advantage of it. Um, again, let me know what city and state you're in. If you do have Salvation Army half off days, put it down below and let me know some of the great finds that you found today or last week or some of your best finds from the Salvation Army. Really appreciate it. And I have an awesome video planned for you guys. Hopefully tomorrow, it might be Friday, um, but that is coming then. Uh, down below, all my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Join the Facebook group, 33, 37,000 members, some 30, some thousand members. I don't even know. Um, awesome group, 24 hours a day. You can get answers to your questions, um, post questions, concerns that you have. Tag me, reach out to me, reach out to Terry, reach out to Megan. Uh, Chris and Cheryl are in the group now. If you have questions about the wholesale lots or you're interested in buying wholesale clothing, um, you can go in the group or message me privately and I'll put you in touch with them. And as always, if you need anything, please message me or email me. Those are down below as well. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time.